princess has her princess pants on. She can't get wet. She threw her dog in the water though. We were told about the abandoned Navy base by other cruisers, and so on the second day in Alabaster Bay, we decided to head out for a little bit more exploring. Cruise, SP Voyager, and cleanliness is on, is, we are on our way to the abandoned Navy base. It's hard to get away from this beautiful beach though. With sun all year round And pina coladas With pretty faces And sand on the ground I want to stop this ongoing trip The road to the Navy base is only about a mile and a half beyond the Coco de Mama resort. Coco de Mama. But you're probably going to take your life right, in your hands on the Queens right. Highway. Headed for the abandoned Navy base. Get run over by the speed demons of Luther. On the Queens Highway. Here we are. <laughs> what? What? What is it? Okay, we're walking through the middle of nowhere. And <laughs> um, here's a scenic view. <laughs> okay. End of. Once off the Queens Highway, you're not going to see a lot of traffic, and the road just curves around to the guard shack. Somewhere in the Bahamas first. No chance. While many of the outer walls stand, most of the Navy base has been gutted and nature is starting to take over. There are plants growing through many of the buildings. Those that still have their walls intact often have honeybees with their colonies inside the wall. Asbestos, rusty nails, and things that could harm you. I this this walk to the beach 
Yeah, it's the best part so far. Mine is thinking of things that we can add to this place so it can be a perfect map for Call of Duty. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh, that'd be perfect for Call of Duty. Make like a ladder going up it. And like, you'd, and, like have Let's a check it out. story that you could snipe off of. Yep. Yeah, this well, I'll tell you what, the Navy base had themselves a sweet beach to come to. Shop. We got an outfield table probably for a table saw. So only T. Johnson, A. Thompson, and McCarty. Everybody else You're in trouble. One our two big diesel tanks is what that looks like. This is the power plant. Got to be the power plant for the base. Yep. Big diesel generators. And there's, you know, four on this side. Oh, yeah. Yep. Here we are in the power station for the old Navy base. I guess when they shut it down, they just left these rot in place. Really cool. More bees, more honeybees. You need to come to the Navy base if you need some Bahamian honey. Sure, man, you thirsty? Yeah, stay hydrated, come and get it. It's right inside the, uh, the pack here. Eight big diesel engines for generating power. Where's the Black Widow? I want to see it. Okay, I gotta see it, man. I gotta see it. Where is he? He was right there. 
Oh, okay, that's cool. I didn't see a widow nest, so I'm not too worried about it. Let's go. We'll get out of here. We still got some windings. It's part of the power station. I don't know. You don't seem to Still a really cool place. You're on a mission now. I know you can't get out. And our time is running now. Oh, Camera should adjust, but you never know. Anyway, this is, looks like part of the power station. The power station has eight generators just left in its place. Um, that's why I probably got all the way by a hurricane when they abandoned this place. And we might try these steps out and go up high see what we run into. really awesome to find people who were stationed here talk to them about how this place was in its heyday. Might have. I see Voyager and Ventolinus over there. After the Navy base, we headed back to the boats. We spent some time on the beach swimming and hanging out. After dinner, Wyatt headed over to the Voyager to hang out and play some games with Matthew. And as happens with all cruising kids, at some point, you gotta come home. We really appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Go ahead and click like, subscribe to our channel, and share this video. This escape very easily right now. I'll just open the door. I got the keys anyways.